Namaste. Let me welcome you in my today's tutorial class. I hope you are already a subscriber of my educational channel. Please do not forget to like, comment and share this channel among your friends. In our today's class, we will be discussing on one of the complex questions in a very simple way. As you can see on the screen, we are expected to produce a very long right hand side from a simple left hand side that is on the left hand side we have sine a plus b plus c since the bracket has three different angles what we do here is we compare this formula with sine a plus b is equals to sine a into cos b plus cos a into sine b but since there are three different angles on the left hand side here we suppose both a plus b as the first angle that will be used in place of a of the formula similarly c is used as the second angle in place of b of the formula so keeping this in our mind we can write sin a plus b plus c as sin a plus b in bracket into cos c plus cos a plus b in bracket into sin c now after this this sin a plus b can be written as sin a into cos b plus cos a into sin b that's already given in the formula here similarly this cos a plus b can be written as cos a into cos b minus sin a into sin b so we'll do the same in the next step this has been converted into a formula as above and cos a plus b has also been converted into its formula form similarly this cos c and this sin c comes same from the above step now let's break the big bracket that means each of the terms inside the big bracket is multiplied by cos c here and each of the terms of the second bracket is multiplied by sin c and that becomes sin a into cos b into cos c as the first term cos a into sin b into cos c as the second term that's from the first bracket similarly from the second bracket we get cos a into cos b into sin c and uh, as the last term we get sin a into sin b into sin c now after this step simply copying the same as previous here we'll move to the next step and we will use the most important trick which will lead us towards the answer here in this step in which the first term is multiplied by cos a and divided by cos a similarly second is multiplied and divided by cos b the third one is multiplied and divided by cos c and on the last term multiplied by cos a into cos b into cos c and divided by the same that is cos a into cos b into cos c and after this we will convert this as tan a this sin b by cos b as tan b sin c by cos c as tan c and sin a into sin b into sin c by cos a into cos b into cos c as tan a into tan b into tan c and rest of the terms are 
cos a into cos b into cos c in the numerator of the first term numerator of the second term third term and the last term all of these are common to all these four terms finally we will take cos a into cos b into cos c common from all of these terms and we will get our answer cos a into cos b into cos c as common and rest of the terms inside the bracket the first term as tan a second tan b third tan c and the final one that is minus tan a into tan b into tan c so this is the way to prove this question i hope you enjoyed this video you liked the processes and you are crystal clear with this type of the question all the best see you soon